All right, in this video, I'm going to show you the trick and then I'm going to explain it to you. So I'll perform it first. This is uh, my new original routine, it's my original triumph. Uh, it's a tribute to Dive Vernon. And uh, I'm going to perform it and then I'm going to explain it. Okay. So uh, it's going to start off. Um, what I'm going to do is, uh, let's see, this is the cards. So. A bit of a shuffle here, a bit of a mix. Okay, see those cards are shuffling. Give me a couple of shuffles. I have a card selected. Say that this was the card, so remember your card. Okay. And then what I will do is I will use that into the depths of the deck. Right, some, uh, some cuts. And we're going to shuffle it. This time I'm going to shuffle it face up and face down. Uh, there was a drunken man who tried to ruin my trick. He took the cards and he actually took, he turned uh, one half face up and the face down. And uh, when I wasn't looking, I was getting a, I was getting a drink, I wasn't looking, and he shuffled the cards. And I turn my back for a second, face up and face down, and then he shuffled it real fast. Like when I turned back around, and he said, "Okay, if you're such a good musician, why don't you find my card?" That's what he said, right? So this is what I uh, did. I took the deck back. I gave it some cuts, and I noticed that it was uh, an utter mess. There's a clever name for this, right? It's called a mess. Some are backs to faces, faces to backs. And backs to backs and uh what he said was he said uh if you're such a good magician why don't you find the cards and what i did was i hit the deck like that and i managed to unmix all the cards in the deck with one tap like that except for the selected card but not only that i took it a step further i said uh you shouldn't mess with a magician who knows more than you because i i hit the shuffle deck and I put it in order. And it, the card that was selected even goes back in its very order right there. Isn't that cool? It's all ace to be. This is something to do with the new deck. When you crack open a new deck before you shuffle it or you give it some false shuffles. Um, it's a really nice triumph. So I'm going to explain that now at this time. Um, you, you start off and also you notice it's in uh, red and black as well. So you can see, look, all the reds and all the blacks. There's a lot you can do with it. So. You have the deck in this order with all the blacks and all the reds and uh, aces through king. And, uh, it's going to reverse the order so that they're in complete uh, order, right? Doesn't really matter, but I guess this is a perfect order. Ace through king, right? So the whole deck is in perfect order, ace through king. You have blacks on one side, reds on the other. And you give some cards a false shuffle. And the false shuffle that I'm going to do use here is the Homer the Wag idea. And what it is, is uh, it's a false feral shuffle. So it's really cool. So what I do is I give it a feral like this and I, I bend it. And it looks like it's going to be shuffled. But what happens back here is it goes like this. So we'll do that a couple times. From the front, it will look like, uh show you what it will look like. It's a perfect illusion. So you give it a fair when you want to have like a chunk on top. And you can even show that they're shuffled and spread, which is cool. And from the front, it will look like this. You, you show the bend and then from the front, you can even hear it and everything. It's a good illusion. What's happening is you want the cards barely here so that you do it a couple times. It's kind of a quick false shuffle. You show it here and then you bend it and it looks like you're going to do a bridge. And when you come into the bridge position, this is what happens. It's actually going out. So it's a really good illusion. And the cards are shuffled. And it's a false shuffle. Give the cards any false uh, cuts that you want. Okay, that one's one of my favorites I use all the time. It's a triple false cut. Now, you're going to have a card selected. So they think the cards are shuffle and cut. Wherever they select the card, you're going to hold a break on it. So for this example, I have the Ten of Clubs. We're going to hold a break on it and uh, we're going to double cut that <clears throat> to the top. 
and give it some false uh, cuts and shuffles. So this is the order that you have it in now at this time, right? Cards on top. I'm going to uh, cut the deck and you're going to say this this drunk trying to mess me up. You're going to use the story of Diverna. And what I like to do here to show it very clean is that all the cards are face down. So you can turn them up. These are all face up. We're not going to spread them out, you know, so that's going to show the order. We're going to take these back and we're going to do the home of the lag false pharaoh shuffle. And the way you do that is you want to have a top chunk. It makes it easier to give you the blockage cover. And you can show that they're shuffled. It's very clean here. And then here's what you do is you bend. They see the bend. And then when you come back, I'll expose it here. Your pinky and this finger is holding it really tight. And uh, you show it like you're going to do the bridge. And they hear the bridge. And what happens back here is see it's actually coming out. So we do that. That puts it in this order. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to go to that where that uh, separation is a face up and face up. You can kind of riffle and see it. And you're going to slip cut this one selected card right on top of that. Okay. You're going to hold a break. You're going to double cut that to the top. That puts you in the triumph position. Okay? This is your triumph position. But you have uh, half the deck face up. Half the deck face down with the one card, the selection on top. So you're not going to spread it at this time. You're going to do the uh, Daryl's Triumph display, which is like this. Okay, you cut packets and you show it. It's very clean. You show uh, all of these cards. This is really awesome. You show face up, face down. Okay, then you show backs to backs. And then you put it back the wrong way. So you toss it back. Now there's only one thing left you have to do, and that is you have to kind of riffle up the back of the cards like you're trying to look for the card. What we're actually looking for is the first separation point. So at this point, I will see that I have the diamonds goes up to the first one that changes to the heart. And then I will, I will hold a break there. Then I'll just give the deck one more cut as I slap it. Use the magic words. And that will put it back in order, everything. Now you could say all the cards are separated reds and blacks if you want to go that route if you want to go that route then you would have to uh make one more cut you know and, and show you know all of them are red and black because they'll notice that right off the bat then they'll look more closely and they'll say look all the cards are not only red and black but they're aces through king they're in perfect order after all the shuffling and cutting and then you show the one position. All these are in order, right? And then the one position where it's different is where the card ends up. So that's a nice touch. I hope you like that. That's my triumph. Thank you very much.